It's Emerald Cup time at the 1450 meter mark. They're all set. And the field sent on its way from that 1450 meter mark. They all seem to get away quite nicely. One of the first ones out over there is Cyber Case. Renegades moved up around there to be one of the early leaders, and they followed by Galahad's in touch. He's a length off the leader. Sandy Beach is now racing in behind those. A few lengths off the leaders, too. Now they've been followed by Centaur. The real Slim Shady, they're about five or six lengths off the leader. They're going the clappers as they turn for home in the Emerald Cup. They've been followed after those by Space Captain outside of runners. Fearless Guns further back. Alimony runs behind those. They're ten lengths off the leader. Senor Jet is racing in the middle of the course, also 10 lengths back. E Fuel runs behind those, and Norquinco is quite far back as they come down to the 600 meter mark. Renegade leads the way to Sandy Beach, racing away in the second spot, followed by Cyber Case in third. Galahad is now being asked the question. He's in the blue cap right in the middle. He's about three lengths off the leader. Punyuka is also starting to come out of the pack in the middle of the course as well. 300 meters left to go. It's Sandy Beach, the leader. He's come through, but Punyuka, Punyuka's coming home very strongly on the grandstand side. Renegade, Fearless Guns runs behind those, but it's Punyuka who comes to the lead with 150 meters left to go. Sandy Beach, Fearless Gun is looking to reel him in. Alamon, he's out of the pack and Flying as well in the closing stages, but Punyuka has timed it right, and Punyuka won the Emerald Cup from Fearless Gun and Elimony behind those. They were followed further back by Sandy Beach. Callahad was after those in the running too. Renegade and E-Fuel further back in the field, and that's the call of the Emerald Cup as Punyuka, Willie Figueroa, sets him on fire to win the 29 Emerald Cup. So Funyuka, too good for the Wally Brits Connections, comes out of the pack this day. Roy Magnus Stable, to be quite honest, has been ticking over very nicely. They've been threatening all the time the last couple of weeks. And Funyuka, who brought Galahad to his knees in his last start, brings him to his knees again today. Funyuka wins at a length. Fearless Gun runs into the second spot with Alimony tote for that uh, close for second and into fourth was a big runner, Sandy Beach, who was always up there, right up to the last 100 meters, but in the end just felt the pressure. Wally Brits, very excited, and of course trainer Roy Magna, as Punyuka starts to make his way back, this must be a, 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 a tremendous moment for you. Well, that's exciting. Um, um, I don't know what to say. He's, you know, all the hype about... Um, no, no, that's fine. Oh, look how much money he's got in the show. Well done, Papa. Um, well done. All the hype about Charlie Lair's horses. He beat the Fair Square last time. He's coming one kilo uh, in sufferance, and he was drawn two. That was drawn ten. Listen, he's a champion. I mean, on level weights, I don't think we'll ever beat him, but handicapping is handicapping. We won today, and I'm over the moon. Thank and the you. blinkers certainly have put, have put his mind on the job. Well, I mean... Um, you saw last time, first time, blinkers, blinker strike, and he wanted to ask, I was figure today, he said, on the last one, he said, if you got him the same, you won't get it, and that's it. So what can we say? You know, I'm over the moon. Well, and nice to Paul, he's a, he's a shareholder on the horse with me, and it's his first horse, and fantastic. Well, Paul, first time owner, first horse, unbelievable, unbelievable. moment. Unbelievable. Well done, Roy, well done, Wally. I couldn't have chosen a better partner. I've got a, <laughs> I've got a stake in a few horses. I'm loving it. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I've got to bring Roy Magna because you, the man that made this all happen, yeah, you, you, Roy, I mean, you, yeah. you train him back home, you sit with the problems at night, and you've brought him along so well. Yeah, look, he's a, he's a pleasure to train. Well done to these guys. Well done to Paul. Uh, He's a real little street fighter, um, and he's won a brilliant race today. Well yeah. ridden by Figgy, I must tell you. Absolutely. Congratulations, Thank guys. You. We're going to cross back to Nico Kutsiotis. Well, thanks very much uh, to Julie, and uh, well done to Willy Figueroa. Here's a guy from Peru. He came out to South Africa in the search of uh, maybe just a normal job, but uh, he's ended up being an absolute legend in the saddle. He's, uh, still, I don't know what age he is, but he's certainly still riding at the top of his game. He's over 50, but he's got a huge following here, Willy. They all shout, Willy, Willy, you hear them now as he leads in the horse now. Uh, he's got a great following. Well, look at him coming back to the winner's enclosure. For some jubilant scenes there. Wally Britt's the winning owner. Those very popular brown and turquoise colours. And, uh, well, this horse won last time out. He won the main preparation race coming into this race. Uh, Willie, a perfect ride by you. You came into this race. You gave this horse every chance. Were you confident? Yeah, only last uh, 500 metres when we can get out the, all the, the sun coming. The horse is... Uh, uh, start uh, relaxing 
and him coming slowly but coming maturely very nice. Now Nico and Dave Mollett want to know for the super sport viewers out there how old are you exactly? 54. 54 and still the wizard. Yeah, my heart is younger. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done to Galerimo Figueroa. Unfortunately, he's got to run off and weigh in, but he's extremely excited. 54, he's still going strong.